how can I set my startup options for my Microsoft Access app that I'm building so that, you know, a custom form pops up that I, you know, is the startup form and, you know, uh, the, some of the bars and things are removed because I don't want my users to see those. Uh, I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and today we're going to talk about Microsoft Access startup options. Uh, we're going to go over the most basic ones that you can use uh, to, to set a startup form and to, uh, you know, put a caption uh, on the title bar and things like that so that your application starts the way that you want it to and hide some things from the users, though not everything. So without further ado, let's get to our startup options in Microsoft Access. Looking for additional programmers for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so this is a little file that we recently did some relinking and things with uh, using VBScript. Um, if you looked at our previous episodes there, and you know we had these tables here, which are you know have some data in them for uh, you know our fictional data company. Um, these really are, are just for demonstration. And we had a relink table and a, and a settings table. And uh, in this episode, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you, you know, how to, you know, set the startup options so that a form will come up that you want when the app opens for your users. And also how to hide some of the clutter and things that you don't want them to see um, as well. And so what I'm going to do is um, I've got this uh, little picture that I made on Canva. Um, I just used one of their stock designs. And as you can see, it's this uh, six by nine um, little picture. It's a PNG. And what I'll do is I'm just going to grab an image control here. And, uh, and I'll drop that onto our form. And uh, I'll just drop it in there. We can arrange it after. And I'm going to go into our test app uh, file here. And I'm just going to grab that file. So that's what it looks like. It's like this candy database um, thing. I just took a, one of Canva's <laughs> designs there. And, uh, and I'll move this up into the top left corner. And it's, and it's kind of big. It's a 600 by 900 picture. But you kind of get the idea. Um, you know, if we wanted to drop a picture on there, we can. And I'm just resizing the form to sort of snap to the picture size there. And um, I'll save it. I'll just go uh, Control S to save it. And I will start. I'll call it Start Form. And, you know, if I just open it directly, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it has record selectors on the bottom and on the side. It has a uh, or pardon me, record selectors on the side, and it has navigation on the bottom. And if I scroll up and down, this is what it looks like. You know, those are, there's the uh, record selectors and stuff. So I'm going to go to Design View, and um, I'm going to uh, just go down here. You can see I left this little bit along the bottom, and uh, I'm going to click click just below the form and right click so I get form properties and go into the form here and I'll I'll give the form a caption and I'll just call it candy um, and uh, and I'll go through the settings here and I'll find uh, yeah so I want the uh, record selectors to be no and uh, and I want the navigations to be no so that navigation button so that'll take take those off of the side and the bottom so it's kind of just a clean form and I'll close the properties and now you can see um, if I go to uh, form view <clears throat> you can see now there, there's no uh, record selectors on the left and you know the bottom doesn't have any navigation uh, buttons um, so this is kind of just a neat little startup form it's not a splash screen which is different which I could do in another episode um, but this is sort of like the form that will open when the users first go into the database and so we could drop a couple of buttons on the bottom here maybe um, so you could go create um, or I should say a form design and then I'll just grab a button from the controls and I'll just uh, plop that on there 
you know, just to just so we can sort of get a feel for what this might look like. And, you know, I'll go to properties, I'll set the name to something that makes sense, you know, like, C, like CMD Go, if, we're, if it's going to go into some other forms as the user starts up, uh, or, you know, um, or we could have a quit button there as well, so maybe some, some kind of menu option, we could put a drop down with, with different forms or whatever. It really depends on the style of application that you want to you wanna create. And I could do, I'll do a copy paste there and uh, I'll drop that one over there and I'll just call this one uh, quit, you know, just in case people want to quit here. And uh, you could actually even, you know, put in the, put the ampersand in there as well. Um, that'll give them the key but keyboard shortcut. Um, uh, so they can go Alt Q and it will quit or Alt L and it'll go to the next screen uh, but we're not actually going to load those right now uh, those are just to, to see what it looks like and so now what we can do is we can take a look at this in form view because uh, we're in design view right now I could close it uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll just right click on the tab there go to form view and you can sort of get an idea you know this is what the what what it looks like um, there's the two buttons at the bottom for the user navigation, um, and uh, and this is sort of like a startup form, I guess you'd say. You might just have a data entry form that pops up when when yours starts, but this is uh, how the Candy uh, database will start. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to that file, and we'll go to um, we'll go down to options, and uh, options is is where we're going to find. Um, our startup um, options for the current database here. So, so what we'll do is there, you'll see a bunch of selections along the left side. Um, some of them are to do with access itself and how you want access to be set up. Uh, but the current database has options as well. And so um, the first one that jumps out is the application title. Um, so this is what will show at the top of the screen in the red bar uh, even if there's no form open, it will um, show this, whatever you put there. And you can also, you can put a, an, an application icon. If you have an icon file, um, you can put that with your uh, application and then you can select it. Uh, and that will show up in the, in the, uh, the top left. And we'll set our display form. Now that's the start form that we were talking about there. And I'm going to remove the status bar and I'll change this to overlapping windows so that we don't sort of see the tab control. Um, but you might have an app that uses the tabs. Um, in this case, I'm just going to say overlapping windows, but you have the option. Um, and there's uh, use access special keys. That's one that can, uh, you, can, you can add or remove. I'll leave it on for now. And a big one is this uh, navigation pane. Uh, if you don't want the users poking around in in the uh, navigation you can remove that um, the ribbon if you have a custom ribbon you can uh, you know put that in there um, and I remove the uh, allow full menus um, and the default shortcut menus and uh, so so there you go there's some other things that you can look at down at the bottom here uh, but generally the ones that I set are, are the ones that you'll use um, and as soon as you say OK, it'll ask you, it, or it'll tell you that you need to close the, the application and restart it to see what it's going to look like. And so I'll close that, and I'll, I'll go back. This is the folder, and I'll just double-click that My FE, and you can see, OK, now we've got, we've got a form here. You can see it's not, it's sort of hovering in there. Um, but you can see if we expand it, sort of maximize it, you can see this is what it looks like. The picture's a little bit big, um, but if I go to the options, you'll see all that stuff is removed here, and there's no menus really for the user to, you know, they can switch windows and stuff, but they can't use all that access stuff that we had on there before, and you'll also see the navigation window is gone. Um, and we on the form we removed the, the navigation bar and the record selector so this is you know it's pretty clean up at the top here you can see there's that candy database uh, 2.1 and candy is the name of the form so if you had no form open it would just say the 
the caption for the database. Um, you know, the, there's a quit and a let's go button, which we didn't put any code on those, um, but you can sort of get an idea of what that looks like. So now to reopen it, um, I'm going to hold down the shift key and double click on the file and that opens it back to sort of like design mode. You can go back in and do all kinds of stuff if you want to. I, I'm going into the form design here and I'm going to, you know, make the picture smaller, say, and I'll move those buttons. Um, you know, you can, you can change the way that it looks. Um, and uh, uh, there is a way to disable that bypass key so that your users, if they know about the shift option, you can actually uh, remove that uh, ability uh, to use the shift key to bypass the uh, startup options. And, uh, and I can show you how to do that if you guys are interested. Uh, okay, so I will uh, resize this a little bit. And I'll also, uh, I'm going to put a quit. So this is the quit button. I'll do, oops, I'll do a quick, I'll call this CMD quit. And I'll put a do command dot quit in the, in the, uh, in the uh, module here, the code behind. So when you click that button, it's going to quit the application. Just, just uh, for demonstration here, put do command dot quit, very simple. I'll close that, I'll save it, and uh, we'll go back to start it. And you can see now, uh, now the picture is quite a bit smaller, but it's still kind of floating in there. We, we'll put a maximize on that. So I'll close this again here, and then I'll shift, double click, and, uh, and then I can go into the design, and uh, I can go and we're going to maximize that form as soon as it opens because uh, that's kind of what we want to see there. So what we're going to do is we'll go into the form properties. So you right click in the gray area outside of the form and go to properties and then you can go, uh, you can choose any of these events. Load is a good one. You can also use on open or on current. Um, I have a video on those guys if you want to take a look at that. Uh, I did a previous video on those. but I'll just use form load here and I'll say do command dot maximize and then I'll save that. And so now uh, we've gone, we've sort of done each step of the way and now you can see it opens and maximizes and it has a nice little picture and you can quit or you can go into the application. I could probably expand it across. I mean, I'm using a very small screen here uh, just for demonstration, but um, that is how you can use startup options in Microsoft Access. Need help with coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do startup options in Access. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you see the bell. If you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comments below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.